Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to print sum of array using pointer. So objective of the program is written in the first statement with the help of comment. Then I have included a header file stdr.h for printf and scanf. Then main function which contains various statements in which first is variable declaration, array declaration as well as pointer declaration. Then printf function is used. It will display enter 10 numbers message on console. Then to read those 10 numbers, I have mentioned for loop and inside for loop scanf statement is used in which uh, a of i will uh, store uh, 10 different values inside 10 different uh, indexes. So after completion of this for loop, uh, I have assigned address of a0 into p. So a0 means index of first uh, location of array. So uh, by ampersand a0, it means uh, address of first location of array will be stored inside p pointer. Now for addition purpose, I have used a p instead of a of i. So you can say that I am preferring a pointer in a place of array for the addition of array. So a loop is used for this purpose. It is starting from zero. Condition is i less than 10. So this loop will repeat 10 times. Now this, uh, this statement is important. It means s equals to s plus asterisk p. So s is initially zero. Then asterisk p means value of address which is available inside p. So first time p contains address of first location. So it will provide the value which is available on first index of array. Then it will be added with s. Now p plus plus will uh, uh, take the uh, address on the second position of the array. So suppose starting address is 101. So when uh, p plus plus will be executed. So next address will be 105. Because uh, here we are considering that integer uh, variable uh, occupying four bytes of memory. So if you are using another compiler, then uh, my, th this might be possible that integer will be of two byte. So if it is of two byte, then two uh, uh, addresses will be incremented. If uh, integer uh, will be of four byte, then four bytes will be incremented. Then I plus plus will take place. Condition will be checked. Again, addition will be done and P plus plus will move to uh, next possible address. So this uh, these operation will be executed 10 times. So after completion of this for loop, the printf statement will print the value of s, which is the sum of all the elements available inside array. So friends, you can see that uh, with the help of pointer, uh, we are able to add all the elements which are available inside array. So it means we can convert all the programs which are based on array uh, in, with the help of pointers. So array can uh, be processed with the help of pointer or without, uh, with the, without the pointers. So now I am compiling this code. It is showing number of errors and warnings zero. Then I am executing this code. So it is asking for 10 numbers. So I am entering 10 times one. So you can see that output is sum equals to 10, which is correct because uh, if we add one 10 times, so result will be 10. So implement this code in your laptop or desktop. You can also convert uh, other uh, programs based on array with the help of pointers. Uh, these are my information. You can call or you can write any email regarding difficult topics. I will be there for your help. You can visit my website. You can watch. Uh, so you can download my app Tech Image from Google Play Store. It contains tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP and Java. You can download PPTs from tutorials.techimage.in. You can read my books, which I have authored on various programming languages. You can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel. Here I have uploaded various programming related tutorials or videos. Thank you for watching this video.